do research in the name of Jesus, not in the name of Allah, because I will be Allah against Allah. You know, slavery that happened in Christianity and, and what you did to Africans, you know that in Islam is forbidden. Prophet Muhammad said, anyone that goes around and kidnap people and take them as a slaves, his prayer will not be accepted. Look again, you see what I'm saying? No, no, no. What about with the... Go on. So, um, I'm not negating slavery no, no, no. in Islam, by the way. The, the sub-Saharan African slave trade. What about it? The Arab slave trade. Okay. The, lo what, the longest that? lasting slave trade ever. Ah, oh, please. It is. Go, uh, okay. It's true. Okay, uh, hang it's on. Caught, it's true. Wait, in the Quran and the Sunnah, there's no verse or hadith says go enslave people. That's not there at all. But in the Bible says, when you go to, uh, it tells you to enslave people. Where? In the Old Testament, huh? The, uh, the Old Testament, you don't accept the Old Testament? Yeah. But the, Do you accept the Old Testament or not? It depends. I uh, accept the, go... the history in the uh, Old Testament. No, my point here is sorry. Yeah, so when God the said history. when God said to go enslave people, is that good or bad? Of course it's bad. So God tells you to do something bad? Where in the Old Testament? No, no, you just yeah, said where, bad. Where? I can show you. I'll no, show you where it says go and take them as slaves. I'll show you. Oh, well, can someone hear yeah, yeah, this? Uh, God. I think that is the Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, no? So the Caliph didn't. Um, didn't take in women today? Oh, uh, the Deuteronomy 20. Okay, let us go to 20, yeah? If someone can get it by the time I speak to him, someone go to Deuteronomy 20, 20, I think. 20. Do you have the Bible here? Deuteronomy 20, 20. Go oh, 20, uh, something like that, yeah. The law of war. Salam alaikum, Habibi. Ayak Allah. Kevak, Allah Azak. Allah Habibi. Ayak Allah Habibi. Kevak, Ayak. Alhamdulillah. It's just telling me, you can go. When you, the, the, uh, the war, the law of war, in, uh, God telling Moses, when you go besiege a town, then what you do, you kill a man and you keep a woman as, as well as um, property for yourselves and your offspring. Anyway, the point here is, you can look for it, no problem. But the point here is what I'm going to tell you here. I'm just showing you that, uh, to go back to the main point, that firstly, I'm not negating servitude, by the way. Also, I'm not defending every Arab here. I defend Islam, okay? Because Arab and the Muslims, they make mistakes. But what Islam teaches, you understand? That's why if you're going to tell me some Arab did something, I'm not going to say, say no, they didn't do something. I mean, you just said the Europeans that were Christ that claimed to be Christian did this to the Muslims. Because the Bible teaches you that. Same, no, it's no the, the Bible. Thing. Okay, who were Malachites? The, the Caliphs did the same thing. No, 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 no never, never. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, he advised the Muslims when they go to Sham and Persia, likewise, do not kill children, do not kill women, is a clear cut, you understand? So don't let Angus our Don't they, let Angus them. They did not kill the, the men and take the women as, uh, as, as sex slaves? No, there's no something called sex slaves. That's in your book, sex slaves. Why are sex slaves? Why? Uh, uh, okay, if you have a woman, as if wives. you know, uh, as wives. is that a better word? Wives. No, no, no. They're not wives. We're not. We're not ashamed to say they are the right hand possessed. Okay, the yes. right hand possessed. Yes, yes, because why? Seven children in Islam only in a time of war. You know, in a time of war, the time of war. So Islam came. Let me explain to you seven children in Islam, but and, and let us compare between the Bible and Islam. Islam came, Prophet Muhammad came, and slavery or slavery was everywhere. Everybody was enslaving everybody. You okay? You're going to die? Is it? You're too cold, man. I'm from Texas, bro. Come on. Oh, you're good. You, you, oh, it's hot there. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Anyway, what we say to you? So uh, everybody was enslaving everybody. Slavery was based upon debt. You borrow me money, money, I cannot give it back to you, so you enslave me until I give you the money back. All people used to kidnap people. Islam came in to show which servitude is the correct one. Which one is only in a time of war? Because we believe a man is created a free person. 
as Adam, you know, was created free. Hawa, uh, Eve, she was created free. So servitude was happening after, occurred after. So Islam came in, in a time of war, Allah gave to the Muslim leaders four options. Either war prisoners, when they either they free them, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the whole town, for Allah's sake, or you exchange them with the other prisoners, or you ask for money, or you keep them as a servant to serve you. Now, if you keep them as a servant, you clothe them the same garments you wear. You take care of them. Now, you keep them as a servant, so the Muslim leader has to look at what is the best interest for the Muslim community. Is it to let them go free, to exchange the prisoners, to keep them as a servant? If you keep them as a servant, as I've mentioned, you take care of them, and there's many ways to let them go free. One of them, called Mukataba. What is a Mukataba? You, the servant come to you and says, listen, I want to go free. Let me give you some money. You say, okay, I agree. Give me this amount of money. It's upon the Muslim community to help the servant to free himself. Subhanallah, you're hoping. Also, historically speaking, there were many servants, scholars, and the leaders in war. You see, they were not treated like worse than the animals. You understand? In the Bible teaches you, if you have a servant and he's very disobedient, you get him, you put him on the wall, you get a nail, and you put it, and you smack him with a nail to know that he will stay forever. I'll show you. Don't move your head with me, you know. The, uh, the, we are, we, Quran soon approves, everything proves to us, inshallah. Let me show you. You see, so don't, don't you ever try to compare this slavery in the Bible or transatlantic slavery to the servitude in Islam, which is based upon wisdom and justice and mighty and mercy. Let me show you, I'm gonna show you. I know you're gonna be surprised. It's in the Old Testament, by the way, but still, okay? Yeah, I read it with context. No, read the whole Bible, you no problem. The, you gotta read the whole book. You can't just cherry pick verses. That's like me cher cherry picking. No problem. I'm gonna tell you to read it. You tell us what is the context. I mean, it's like someone uh, stabbing someone. What is the context? I don't like him. The context is not gonna help you. You don't like him. It's injustice. Okay. Punish your. In the Where is it? No, there's one, there's one which uh, which is, it says that you have to there's one. Watch this one, just watch this one, yeah? Anyone who beats their male or female slave with like a rod must be punished, yeah? So the owner must be punished. If the slave dies, but if the slave, they are not, if they don't die, they are not be punished. If the slave recover, since the slave, they are their property. So imagine you have a slave and you beat him badly, but he doesn't die, you're okay because he's your property. If he dies, you get punished. Is that just to beat? a man badly you torture him and you know you know i'm gonna torture you with a fire i'm gonna burn you everywhere because i know the law in the old testament is not gonna punish me as long as i don't kill you is that just i'm asking you is it just to torture a slave and punish him badly and nothing happened to you that's in your bible read it and i can get you the context as well yeah it depends on yeah is in the Let's read more. Uh, yeah, get Exodus. Yes. Get, get Exodus. A man came to Prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad Look at the teaching of Islam now. Exodus, Prophet Muhammad. Uh, 21, 20. Uh, so, uh, page 21. And the passage 20, 21, yeah? A man, Prophet Muhammad he saw a man, he was about to hit his servant. Prophet said, Yeah, Ibn Ya Abdullah. Remember Allah is greater than you, then you're greater than him. He looked, he said, oh, messenger of Allah, I let him go free. He didn't even touch him. Imagine he didn't even touch him. He's about to touch him, but some saw him. He said, don't do that. Then the man, he felt shy. He said, oh, Allah, oh messenger of Allah, I let him go free. Compare the Prophet's mercy with this teaching. So how dare you, Christian, 
compare Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu with your God. Your God is just a... Subhanallah. I don't believe by the way. I believe that is not God of the Bible. I believe there's many lies and that's God of the Bible. Because I believe in Abraham, Moses. So when I speak like this, I'm not disrespecting the God of Abraham, the God of Moses. Well, I'm showing you the lies that has been attributed by the scribes to Moses and God of everything. So you punish someone, torture him, humiliate him, burn him everywhere as long as he doesn't die, you'll be blessed. That's why now we understand why the Europeans treated the black Africans the way they treated them. But are you thinking to call friend or 50-50? <laughs> I don't know if you asked me I'm questions, joking. I'm just confused. I'm joking. But what I'm showing you here, yeah. when you compare Islam to Christianity or to Quran, to the Bible, or teaching Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, you can see teaching Prophet Muhammad Wasallam based upon mercy, wisdom, justice, power, you know, alhamdulillah. But when you say teaching of the Old Testament, but anyway, you haven't asked my question. Looks at, because uh, you said you want to see the context. Can you check the context for me? Because I don't want to leave, then someone say I'm misquoted. So look at the context, please. And tell me, is it good that you torture your slave and nothing happens to you as long as you don't kill him? You know, you know, the time Prophet Muhammad, but, but uh, you look for it. Prophet Muhammad saw during his lifetime, a man came to him, a servant came to him, he said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, so and so tried to cut off my private part. Prophet said, Go, he told his companions, Go get him. The man ran away because he knows what is the punishment now. How he could, they, of course, they are servants, but you treat them. Once Umar ibn al-Khattab, the Khalifa of the Muslimin, he saw a companion sitting down and someone standing up. Okay. He said, who right. is this person? He said, that's my servant. He said, why is he standing? Let him sit down with you and eat with you. I just read the context. No, no, let me read it. Let me read it. I'll just read the context. Okay. Come on, man. We've been coming to this place for a long time, you know? Come, let's read the context. So, they're 21. Yeah, but you got to read 20 before you read 21. Yeah, no problem. No. Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. God has come to test you. Uh, so that the fear of God will be with you to keep you from sinning. The people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. Then Lord said to Moses, tell the Israelites, this you have seen yourselves, that have spoken to you from heaven. Do not make any gods to be alongside me and do not make for yourselves gold for, of silver or, go, uh, or gold of gold. Make an altar of earth for me and sacrifice on it. You burn uh, your burnt, your burnt off, uh, offerings and fellowship, okay? Who is the con? That's not the one I'm talking about. Keep on reading. He's yeah. talking about the pagans. No, 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 that's, that's not the... What, what are we talking about? The context is up here. Who is about the slave? <laughs> Where is the slave one? Is the slave? So, no, 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 I'm about to tell you. You l listen? Yeah, go on. Yeah. So right here, this passage, he's talking to, th the Lord said to Moses, tell the Israelites, mm. and he's t talking to them about the pagans, the, the Satanists, the people that worship Baal, Satan, the people that wor worship Satan. Well, I, I, that's not the same. That's not yes, the same. Yes, 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 it is the same. No, it's not the same. Look, 20, read 20. Read 20. Go, go, go. No, yeah, no. yeah, no, 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 Exodus 20. Ah, okay, so I, I'll give you the wrong uh, passage. No, 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 you gave me the right passage, but you have to read 20 before you read 21. That's 20, look, that's no, 20, no, 21. Have, yeah, yeah, but you have to read 20 before you read, let me show you. That's why context is important. Yeah, read the context, is, I mean, no, what? No, no, I mean, what's the context? You gotta read Exodus 20, 22. Start at 20, 22, and you read that, and then you read 21. So you understand what he's talking about. Yeah, read it, read the this. servants. So the servants he's addressing are the pagan nations, the people that worship Satan and defile God. The God that you love, the God of Abraham. Yeah. So the ones that get tortured or, or get uh, the nail in them are the people that are Satanists. So no, 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 that doesn't say that. that. Is, no, 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 make it up, man. You, just, you, it up. you just make it up. I'm Where not, the, I'm not in the, this is from the Bible. Okay, so you said if, so, okay, if your servant is a pagan worshiper, it's okay to torture him? Yes, it depends with, with context. Oh my, that's why, that's why you want to torture the Africans, because you believe they are pagans. 
You see, you're justifying the torture and the mur and How can you justify this nonsense? You could have been a camera, brother. I mean, no, brother. Uh, uh, what's your name again? Okay, uh, X. You could have been a camera justifying the torture of human being, burning him, torturing him because he's a servant. Yeah, in the Old Testament. Yeah, but that, was that yeah. the commandment of God? Yes, at the time. So is that something yeah. good to do or something bad to do to, to human being? It just depends. They're disrespecting the, your God, right? No, 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 hey, no, 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 no. They're disrespecting your God. That's bad. So okay. So now, if the Muslim yeah. go and torture the Christians, it's okay, but because they're disrespecting our God. It's not because we're under. We're under See, no, hypocrisy. No, but it's okay for you to you torture the off. people. Stop cutting me off. Go on. Stop, I let you talk the whole time. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. You cut me off every time I say something. No, because you may. To be honest, I respect you. Look, You're not making look, no sense. This is twenty-one. The the, the verse you wanted to cherry pick. These are the laws you are to set before them. Who are the them? The pagans, the ones that worship idols. I understand these, that, yeah. These, and that's where he talks about, you know, nailing them to the So it wasn't just normal people. It wasn't like a, a normal person in the community. It was somebody that was defiling God. So they were pagans, okay. Yes. But hold on, go on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, no, wait, wait. I'm showing contradiction. I'm going to show you contradiction. All right, go on, go on. Go on. Me, bro. Go on. Come on now. Like I said, as a Christian, we believe in the New Testament. Yeah. So we don't have to go do that anymore. Jesus preached forgiveness. As a Muslim, you believe in progressive revelation, right? You have prophets that come, they reveal something. Another prophet comes, they reveal more and more and more. And the faith makes sense more time as time goes on, correct? So at that time, yes, it was justifiable to do that to the people that were defiling God. Um, but when Jesus came, he preached a lot of I understand about that. I understand. forgiveness. No, no, but the point yeah. I'm bringing you back to, if they are pagans and they violated and against God, so why God care about them if they're going to die? Because God says, if they die, then you kill the owner. So the God, he cares about them if they die. But it's okay to torture them and punish them. This law doesn't make any sense. Because if God doesn't, if God hates them, he doesn't know, care about them, then if the owner from the Israelites punish them and the pagan dies, then that's what God wants from them because they are pagans. He has he doesn't care about them. But he says if you kill them, then the owner who is the Israelite, who God loves, he should be killed because of killing the, the slave. But if you torture him, humiliate him, it's okay. What I'm saying to you, this person is a human being, a pagan worshiper or not. That's why Islam comes in with mercy. And by the way, you talk about Islam came, it, it, Jesus came to it, it, Jesus said, Jesus said in in, in, in uh, you talk about Jesus. Yeah, no problem. Jesus said, do you suppose that I came with peace? Not at all. But my point to you again, just to make it sure, make it clear. So you saying, when God, as you believe, when the, the Israelites, they were torturing the slaves and punishing them because they were pagans, it was okay to touch a human being and punish him and humiliate him. It depends on what they did. It depends. I mean, they were pagans, you said. Yeah, they're pagan people. So you justify him, yeah. torture his servant, and punish him. So now, remember, we have to remember now. They, now, they, they, they're only getting, if they dis dis disobey uh, their master and, and the people in the family, then they get punished. It's not like they're taking them and they're punishing right away. <laughs> if, if, they, if they disobey. Regardless, even if you, do, look, look, look. Even if you disobey, look, look, Islam, understand that. If you disobey, they're disciplined, yeah? yeah. But what I'm saying, Islam, when you talk about servants, those servants, they were pagans too, okay? But yet Islam, Prophet Muhammad wasalam, said, treat them the way you treat yourself. It make them eat from the same food. You know, look after them, you understand? That's why many servants became Muslims in Islam. That's why there was an empire called uh, Empire of the Mamalik. This Mamalik means the empire of the servants that was in Egypt. The actual servants became a leader, kings. They will rule over the Muslim world, you understand? So when you see how Islam legislate how to treat the prisoners who have the options you can kill as a servant, how they become Muslims, and you compare between you driving us crazy with God's all loving, he loves everything and everyone, yet he's allowing human beings to be tortured and humiliated and punished. Again, that was Subhanallah. How many times do I keep on going to tell you? That was the old, covenant. That was the old covenant. So before Islam came with the mercy and stuff, Jesus was the one that was preaching that before, six hundred years before. So that commandment was it from Jesus or not? In the Old Testament? It was from Jesus. So Jesus Again, we believe in progressive revelation. No problem. Come, is Jesus, uh, come on. No, 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 wait, wait. Is Jesus, going in circles. No, 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 no. Is Jesus all loving no, all the times? Is Jesus all loving all the times? Of course. It's all the time. 
So when he was saying, when Jesus was telling the Israelites to torture and punish and humiliate human beings, was that all loving? Let me ask you a question. You no, 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 no. Ask my question. You have children? No, no, before I have children. No. Wait, wait. Have children. When you said Jesus all loving. He loves everyone, yes? Yes. So when he was saying to the Israelites to torture a slave and humiliate him and punish him, was that all loving? Yes. You take care of yourself. Yes. So I'm going to kill you and punish you if you tell me why, Shamsi? Because I'm loving you, man. So if you had Allah, children, Alhamdulillah for if Islam, you have man. children, you're going to punish them? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Not, not to torture them. Yeah. No one do that. How are you going to torture your child? I'm going to discipline my child. That's what Prophet Muhammad SAW said. Again, I'll take you to the best example ever existed, Muhammad SAW. He said, when you want to discipline your child, what you do, avoid the face. And don't leave no mark. You don't beat him up like Mark Tyson. You're not fighting Mark Tyson here. You understand? So compare, look to the mercy of Muhammad SAW. You know, when you to Islam, Tawheed, the foundation makes sense. The branches make sense. That's why you see Islam spreading as a religion that go in line with our sound reasoning and natural inclination. That's why human beings naturally gravitate towards Islam. I think you have a very, very biased... Bias? Bias point of view. No, no, it's based upon yeah. observation and what I've been doing for the last 15 years, speaking to non-Muslims, yeah. and I see how they gravitate towards Islam just by explaining Islam to them. But just here in London, you need to travel more. Right? I travel more. I went to Ireland, I went to Scotland. Uh, That's in the UK, right? No, I have brothers in America. In German town, in German, you know Philly. In German town, there's a masjid called uh, our Sheikh Hassan Somali there, German town. Literally, every Saturday, our brother CC that were there, some were accepted Islam. In Ramadan, 55 people accept Islam. Majority of them were young. There's Christian events that do the same numbers. Like, that doesn't no, mean, no, 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 Christian. Mean, come on, man. You, you got a, a Come on, man. Lens. I'm going to say the American. I'm being serious. You got come a on, man. Lens. I don't have no bias. But like, you I have respect. You, you have to understand. You, you, have, got, you got to understand that. You, you have to smell the Algerian see, coffee to wake up. Whenever, Not any coffee. coffee. Because <laughs> you, gotta read you have the Bible, to wake up. You got to read the Bible with context. Because that Exodus passage, you didn't read it with context when you were trying to cherry pick before. So next time that. You, you just read the context. You, you just justify the, 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 the torture and the, 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 the punishment of it. a human being because he's a pagan. That's the context, correct? Because he was a pagan. There's more context to it, but yeah. What was more context? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a pagan. Yeah. Diso dis disobeying. That's not dis disrespecting. Dis disrespecting um, the, the master's children and the wives. You gotta read the whole context, brother. Doesn't say this is. Doesn't say disrespect wives you want and me children. To read it to you? Yeah, read it. When he said this is. When he said if the slave disrespect, doesn't read, say. Read it. Read it. Okay. But if the servants declare, I love my master and my uh, and the, and my wife and children and do not want to go free, then his master must take him. before Oh, no, no, watch this one. Thank you very much. This one. No, no, let me read it. This worst one. This other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this one, yeah? But, but, you know, watch this one. Watch this. Brothers and sisters, you know, thank you very much. Allahu Akbar. Well, I want good for you, man. You see, I'm a nice guy. You know, you seem a nice guy. Yeah, don't, don't record him, actually. Just blur him if you record him. I have, I have respect, you know? No, no. Listen to this. Habibi. Khalil, focus. Shukran, khuya. But if the servant declares, I love my master and my wife, not the master's wife, his wife, and children, and don't want to go free, he doesn't want to go free then. Okay, the servant doesn't want to go free. Then his master must take him before the judges. He shall take him to the door of the door post and pierce his head with an owl. Then he will be his servant for life. Okay, can you, can you Google what is owl? Is it, is it, am, am I pronouncing it correctly? Anyone can Google for Anyone? A W L. Yeah, man. Six people, man. One might be the whole Yeah. Go to uh, images. Go images. Go images. Yeah, go images. You know Yeah, yeah, Achi. Go, go, go. Screw driver. Screw driver. So this seven doesn't want to go free. He said to his master, I don't want to go free. So he should, the master, not say, okay, don't go free, that's good, because you love your wife, you love me, I'm going to take care of you. No, you get him and you put this in his ear, like screwdriver, and pierce him. You give us another, another proof that this, this, this judge, this... You got to read the whole thing. May Allah guide you to Islam. May Allah guide you to Islam. Allahu Akbar. He just gave me another proof of my statement. Subhanallah. May Allah help you, man. Allah, you... You seem a nice guy. I pray to Allah guide you to the truth. Wallah, I pray. You seem a nice guy. No, I don't record him.
No, but I don't record them. He doesn't want to be recorded, you know. No, he doesn't want to be recorded. Don't worry. I'm going to... No, no, it's not about refusing. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's about... No, no, no. No, no, but it's not about that. It's not about that. What is he about? You go home, watch, inshallah, reflect upon it, and pray. It's not about who's winning here. Me, I'm an Algerian Moroccan, Algerian Moroccan of Africa, we speak like this. The way we speak, we speak like with passion, you know? But we love good Labas, I like Labas. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Maybe you're Moroccan Algerian originally. <laughs> Serious, eh? Subhanallah, Ajib. Anyway, may Allah guide you, you know, and I'm, I apologize if I was speaking rude to you and cutting you. But what I like to do is to establish the truth clearly and simply for people to understand. That's what I like, you know. He's not shouting, he's just Algerian. That's, <laughs> That's how it is, you know. If you don't see Algerian or shouting, doubt him if it's Algerian or not. Barakallah, <laughs> you ikhwa. May Allah bless you all. Aikul salam, akhi. Barakallah, akhi. Aikul salam, akhi. I just want to say salam to you. I always see you on YouTube. Barakallah, akhi. Salam, akhi. Barakallah, akhi. Mashallah, salam, akhi. How are you, man? Salam, akhi. Mashallah. How are you, Sheikh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Treat like a celebrity. Is there ever a picture with you? No problem. Alhamdulillah. It's my pleasure. Where are you from? What country?